Hi guys, in this example we will understand the use of alter. Alter is used for changing the already existing table structure. And here we will see how we can change the structure of table employees and solve the ID problem which the table employee has. Now what is the ID problem? Now you know that every time you want to add an employee, you need to remember what was the employee ID of the last employee you added in the employees table. So now you know that the employee ID was 4 for the last employee you added. So you need to use 5 for the next one. And this is very tedious process. You don't want to remember every time what was the last employee ID of the employee added and then use the next one for the new employee. This is very tedious and we don't want to do that. We want to change the structure of table employees such that every time a new employee is added automatically the next employee ID is used. So after 4, 5 will be used. After 5 when we add a new employee, number 6 should be used. We don't need to specify every time what the employee ID should be. And MySQL basically should take care of it every time. So for that we will change the structure of table employees such that this problem is solved and th this is how we will do alter table employees modify employee id field such that it will be an integer it will be not null and auto increment is what does the auto increment part so after 4 it will automatically give employee ID 5 to the next employee which we try to add. We don't need to specify the employee ID from now onwards after we run the alter. After you run the alter, the next employee you try to add will be automatically given employee ID 5 by MySQL server itself so that you don't need to specify it. I hope the structure is clear to you now and now let's see how we can do that with the help of MySQL interface. So now I am again at localhost 8080 slash php my admin. Now let's run the alter first. So we'll click on the database. Click on SQL. We'll paste the alter table employees modify employee ID with auto increment. And here you can see that it was successfully executed. Now let's try to add an employee in the employees table without specifying the employee ID. So here you can see I have an insert, insert into employees. Here I have specified only 4 fields, name, hourly pay, position and employee contact. And here also you can see that the name is Ria Romero, hourly pay is 12, position is manager and employee contact is this number. So now let's try to run it and see if the employee ID 5 is automatically given to this or not. So we run run the query and we'll again go to employees table and here you can see because we had set the auto increment this was automatically given employee id 5. So now we don't need to remember what was the last employee id added in the employees table. MySQL will take care of it for us. So now that the use of alter is clear to you now Let's add 15 more employees in the employees table. So I have all the inserts available here. I'll just run the queries and here we'll go to employees table. And here you can see we have all the new employees which we have added. And for none of this employees, we mentioned the employee ID. Auto increment took care of this for us. I hope the concept of alter and auto increment is very very clear now. Thank you.